Hey, what's up guys? John here. Invitation Homes, America's largest landlord. They own 80,000 single family homes. They, alongside Blackstone and Black Rock, which together owns hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of single family homes and multifamily properties across America. They're all saying the same thing as coming to residential real estate, and multifamily real estate. That's going to shake and change the entire industry. Yet nobody is talking about it. All everyone's talking about right now is that we're going to be stepping into inflation and real estate and hard assets are the best way to hedge against that type of inflation. But the problem that they're not taking into consideration is exactly what the big guys are, Blackstone, BlackRock, Invitation Homes. And that's why I believe that when these new sweeping changes come across real estate, it's going to bring most homeowners to their knees and these big corporations are going to run out there and buy up all of these properties. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what you need to know that's going to shake and change the residential multifamily real estate market. So please smash that like button. When you do, you're going to tell YouTube to share this content and YouTube is going to help educate more people as to what's really going on behind the scenes in the real estate markets. So please smash that like button. Let's begin. Invitation Homes Invest in Fifth Wall Climate Technology Fund supporting Companies creating climate friendly technologies for real estate company imitations homes, sustainability initiatives. What this means, when you hear the word sustainability, just remember it sounds like a good thing, and it probably is, but it's not for the everyday American that is living paycheck to paycheck because what that means, most likely, is that there's going to be a big check that the everyday American is going to have the right to make their home sustainable. And this is exactly what these big corporations are banking on. Biden and the Biden administration are likely going to make these changes not optional, required. They're going to be required to save the world. So if you're if you don't have the money to do this and you don't have the money to protect yourself against this new threat, this article came out about an hour ago that's going to be coming with business regulations, increased taxes and more uh, real control over your property. That could be a big threat and these big corporations are banking on the tidal wave of foreclosures, evictions, and financial duress that's gonna be stepping and sweeping across the nation very, very soon. Uh, Dallas Invitation Homes, uh, the nation's premier single family home leasing company announced today that it invested in the Fifth Walls Climate Technology Fund. We are committed to creating a better way to live and being forced for positive change, while at the same time advancing efforts that make our company more innovative and the process more sustainable, said Invitation Homes President and CEO Dallas Tanner. We are very pleased to support the Climate Tech Fund and to be at the forefront of helping to find and advance climate-friendly home solutions. The Climate Tech Fund invests in technologies that address decarbonization across all stages of asset classes within the global real estate ecosystem, including materials, construction, operations, revitalization. Invitation Homes joins Ivanhoe Cambridge and others who are among the first group of investors to participate in the fund. What this means, I mean, you're talking about getting rid of electricity. You're talking about getting rid of fossil fuels on your property. This isn't like 5,000 or 10,000. This could be $50,000. This could be more. And how can everyday homeowners afford this? Especially nowadays, people are paying so much money for real estate, way more in most markets than it's really worth, but they're just desperate to get in. And when they see these values start to plummet, and they say, hey, I simply, why am I going to hold on to this property if the value drops so much? I can go rent something. And that's, that's exactly what these guys want. I know Cambridge Invitation Homes has taken a true leadership position among real estate investment trusts through its participation in Fifth Walls Climate Technology Fund, said Brendan Wallace, co-founder and managing partner at Fifth Wall, decarbonizing the residential sector is critical to the future of our environment. It is inspiring to see a leader in the residential space like Invitation Homes commit to the science and R&D required to make real estate more sustainable. You gotta trust that science. In addition to this investment, Invitation Homes continues to build a sustainability related operational actions and investments, including the use of smart home technology that helps residents save 15% on energy bills, water savings, landscaping, and arid locations, low flow plumbing, electronic work, orders that replace paper waste, 
route optimizations and stock vehicles that decrease drive time for maintenance technicians and an air filter home delivery program that helps provide better air quality in homes and improve HVAC efficiency. A full view of the company's environmental sustainability efforts can be found here. So I love when they say, you know, oh great, utilities will be dropped 15%, but the demand for rentals will go up 50% or 20% or whatever the number will be, and rents are gonna drive up way more than what people can really anticipate. And think about how big that market's gonna be when people don't have the money for a down payment to go out there and buy a property. They don't have two years of stable income. They don't have the credit. They simply don't have the qualifications. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna have to rent. And when they have to rent, these people, these big corporations, they know they have the power and they're gonna utilize that power in a way to strip the American dream away from every American. Invitation Homes is the nation's premier single family home leasing company meeting changing lifestyles demands by providing access to high quality updated homes with value features such as close proximity to jobs and access to good schools. The company's mission, together with you, we will make a house a home, reflects a commitment to providing homes where individuals and families can thrive and high touch service that continuously enhances residents' living experiences. Interesting, they say they're gonna turn a house into a home. What does that mean? That means that this is your home. This is, this is what we see for you going forward. This isn't a temporary solution. So, I mean, we see what's going on here, but I think, unfortunately, 99% of people aren't looking at the big picture. That's what's gonna to happen to the residential sector when this becomes the norm. Blackstone, Blackstone sets goal to reduce carbon emissions 15%. So they built, they bought this, uh, 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 they call it Stytown. It's like 6,000 units in Brooklyn. And uh, what they're doing is now they're putting solar across all of the units. These corporations, unlike a lot of other firms where, you know, the mom and pop firm, where they have tenants that are not paying, because we have 8 million plus tenants that are not paying rent right now. These everyday landlords are not getting the rent payments from Congress. But these big corporations are and these big corporations they're collecting the money straight from congress they're increasing the rent three four percent people aren't moving and they're making more cash than ever and now they're able to push forward all this change because these people are funding the leaders that are in office and they have this they have this idea to save the world unfortunately i think a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money in the process it's some pretty crazy times. i mean the investment firm has said he Goal, reducing carbon emissions by 15% within the first three years of buying any asset or company across its portfolio. The initiative will begin in 2021, which is now. This they started doing this in 2020 and will apply new investments where Blackstone controls the energy system. The firm is joining the French energy and digital automation company, Schneider Electric SE, to track its progress. Schneider will tabulate usage, costs, associated emissions, data based on monthly energy bills from each new piece of Blackstone's portfolio, emissions reductions will be reported in an aggregate against the firm's overall target. Private equity firms have been in become increasingly focused on environmental, social, and governance related issues driven in part by pressure from the pension, public pension funds and other institutions that invest in them. Like many of its competitors, Blackstone has been monitoring energy consumption and implementing strategies at various properties and portfolio companies for years, but it's the first among its peers to publicly set an overall target. So I mean, we, we, we kind of see where this is going, but it'll be fascinating to watch how everything shakes out and pans out. You know, all they have to do is increase interest rates just a little bit, increase interest rates a little bit, the mortgage demand will fall, refinances will fall, buyers purchasing power will fall, sellers will get fearful that they miss the market, they will hurry up and try to list their properties to try to get it sold, all the people that are on the fence, and then before you know it, we have a, a big crash. The housing market couldn't support a half a point interest rate, let alone a quarter point interest rate. So you take this into consideration, another stage of a business closures into consideration, everything is so prime and so ripe for a crash, I can't say when that will happen, but it's looking like it could happen pretty damn soon, especially with the eviction moratoriums and forbearances scheduled to expire 
uh, very, very soon. But what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts about sustainability and energy and what these big corporations are gonna be doing to residential and multifamily real estate and housing in America? Drop your comments below. I'm really curious as to what you guys think about this. Please smash that like button. When you do, you're gonna help share this video and consider subscribing here. Also consider subscribing on my second channel. I'm gonna leave the links pinned down below in the top comment. I'll see you guys in the next video.